who really cares who is willing to try to save a world that is destined to die oh, oh. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. You know, I want to get into this story, um, this complaint, actually, that Tyrese Gibson has because he's going back to court. Um, he, re he, Tyrese Gibson, he requested a new judge in his divorce from ex Samantha Lee, as he claims current one is biased against him. Tyrese Gibson asked that a new judge be put on his divorce case with his ex, Samantha Lee, as he claims Superior Court Judge Kevin Farmer is biased against him. The Fast and Furious star 44, who has been previously scolded um, by the same judge last year in the court for giving back talk. He made the request in documents obtained by Daily Mail. You know the only person that can do that is Donald Trump. Okay? You already should know better. The actor stated that he didn't agree with how Farmer had been handling his case and claimed that the judge suddenly canceled a court hearing and just ordered him to pay 450 k uh, within 10 days in connection with his appeal of an order in the case. Hmm. Gibson claims he planned on explaining during that hearing how he was unable to make the payment which the Hollywood strikes affect in his income. Tyrese, who also attempted have, to have Farmer removed, oh, that judge really mad at him, from the case last year, claims that the judge canceled a hearing only a few days before it was set to take place. Mm. You know, they don't like that too much when you do that, Tyrese. Uh, Gibson's lawyer also released a lengthy statement to the Daily Mail. This is where this article comes from, by the way with bombshell accusations against the judge and the lawyer of his ex. They wrote, The latest injustice by Judge Farmer is just one way of many actions which suggest that there may be something else going on at the Fulton County Superior Court judge. There is collusion going on with Judge Farmer and Samantha Gibson's lawyer or does the judge farmer regularly deny litigants an opportunity to be heard? They also call into question the judge's ability to remain fair and balanced. Gibson's attorney continued, the judges are supposed to use their authority and discretion to make fair and impartial decisions in the cases in which they are assigned. But, I mean, they are supposed to utilize the authority that they have to carefully evaluate the testimony of the witnesses and the evidence presented. Judges have to be patient and allow parties to have their days in court. Judges are supposed to allow every person the opportunity to be heard to present all of their information, evidence, and testimony that they have so the judge can use his discretion to make a fair decision. Last year, the judge scolded Tyrese during his testimony during which the actor and singer reportedly backtalked to Farmer. At the time, Samantha's attorney noted that Gibson had amassed over $2 million in 2018 despite him claiming to have been in financial ruin at the time. I don't do the CFO thing. Here's a question for you, smart person. Tyrese uh, back talked according, according to that's that's back talk 
according to um that's according to TMZ. <laughs> it's weird. However, he was cut off by the judge who yelled at him. You don't ask questions. That's not how this works. The judge also allegedly threatened to hold a singer in contempt should he misbehave again. Farmer also ordered the star to pay $10,690 in child support to his ex, whom he shares a daughter with, Soroya. Soraya, this is not a punishment for you, so put that money where it belongs, in the child, the judge said while announcing the child support amount. He also advised both parents not to badmouth each other in front of their daughter. Good advice. This child support was backdated to when Samantha filed for divorce in September 2020, meaning that Tyrese owed his ex a lump sum of $209,000. The judge reduced that amount by $46,000 since Tyrese had been making payments on Samantha's car for two years, lowering the lump sum to $169,000. During a proceeding in Fulton County, Georgia, Tyrese also became officially single as the judge granted the petition from divorce from his estranged wife, per the outlet. He was also not required to pay spousal support to Samantha. In December 2020, Tyrese and Samantha announced their divorce and their split three years after they secretly Tied the knot. Hmm. At the same time, Gibson took to Instagram to release a statement that read, After much thought and consideration and prayer, we unfortunately have made the difficult decision to officially separate and divorce. Our intention is to remain best friends and strong com co parents, he penned. Later, adding all this PR stuff, the journey together has been a ride of both ups and downs, but the journey that has um, neither of us would have chosen to take with anyone else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds like some shit somebody told you to say. Um, earlier this year in September, Tyrese got candid about the pain that he felt while watching his marriage go up in smoke. Now, that I, is real. But how are you going to act like that hit maker first crossed paths with Samantha in 2015 and the former couple uh, said I do on Valentine's Day in 2017? Basically, I was in a relationship for five years, the love of my life, he stated. I wanted to be married until I had no teeth left in my mouth, eating mashed potatoes and coleslaw. He continued, that's the vision I had. I had to keep my wedding band on consistently. I kept my wedding band on consistently. I was up there with the Care Bears. I'm such a sucker for love, the sanctuary of marriage, and anyone who is in love, it doesn't matter what race, nationality, or sexual preference, there is nothing better than the beauty of love. And that I agree with, brother. There's nothing better than love. What in the world could you ever been thinking of? It's greater by far. So let yourself reach for that star. Y'all know that? Ain't nothing better than love. And I agree. That's why I get so uh, angry when people judge people um, and speak ill of them because they found love. I mean, you damned if you do and you damned if you don't. All you, all you owe yourself is to be loved and it's, it's to love and be loved in return. And to have my marriage just kind of go up and smoke right before my eyes has been very challenging for me, Tyrese admitted. Ah, 
I mean, I, I hear you. I, I hear you. His album is entitled Beautiful Pain, and I would love for you all to hear it and embrace it. And anybody who's ever been through a breakup, I don't care if it's back in high school, I think the sentiments and the rawness of my vulnerabilities I put into these songs, I feel like this album, although it derived from pain, I feel like this album is actually going to be a divorce determined. Deterrent. Interesting. I mean, now that he split from Samantha, he's been seen around town with Zelly Timothy, um, a media influencer. You know, he he says his album is going to pay, make people say, I need to love you better. I want to get closer. Let's forgive and forget. Let's unpack and have these conversations because nobody wants to be that. Nobody wants to not be married, Gibson Express. Tyrese also previously married to Norma Gibson from 2007 until their divorce in 2009. They, that pair shares a daughter named Shayla. The actor has since been romantically, again, linked to Zelly Timothy. Along with his divorce case, the star has been recently sued by the owner of an Airbnb that he had rented for allegedly causing damage and making alterations. Now that's a whole different case. I'll, I'll, I'll do that on the next one. <laughs> anyway, Ty, uh, Tyrese has to go. Would y'all think his chances are going to be of getting a new judge? Because he sure is requesting one. He said he he doesn't want to go before this biased judge again. Would y'all think that his chances are that that are happen for him? Leave your comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.